Liebe Game City Besucherinnen und Besucher, wir starten mit dem Finale der A1 Esports League Austria Project Cars und haben uns hier für einen Experten auf die Bühne geholt. Bitte begrüßt mir den Luke von Großbritannien extra hergereist. Sein Ingame Name ist Actual Vision. Er wird uns durchs Finale führen mit einem tobenden Applaus. Ladies and Gentlemen, Boys. Ladies and Gentlemen, Boys and Girls, we are here for the A1 Esports Season 2 here with Project Cars. We are here at Game City. Can I hear you, Game City? Absolutely nobody. Can we hear you, Game City? That's a little bit better, I guess. But yes, we're here for leg number two of the eSports for the A1. Yesterday we had League of Legends, today we've got Project Cars, and then tomorrow we have uh, Clash Royale. But today we have had 16 of the qualifiers from the f last two months get here to Game City, which has been absolutely unbelievable. But I'm Actual Vision, but I'm here with my trusted partner, Mr. Bubble Bart, who's in his little fish tank over there, so give him a wave. How you doing, Bubble? Hi, hi guys. Hi, hello. I'm doing pretty good. We're here. We're actually here. Well, oh, he he's okay, I guess. Yeah. But as you can see right in front of us right now, we have got this unbelievable trophy here, which one of our eight finalists will take home. Like I said, over the last two months, we have had five qualifiers for the Europeans, and then we've had one qualifier for Austrian-only participants. They've been whittled down now to the final 16. We had two semi-finals of two races today, and now we are at our final eight races. It's going to be unbelievable. We're going to be using Mercedes-Benz cars. The first race is going to be at Cota, Circuit of the Americas, which is actually where it, the Formula One is this weekend. And then, of course, next up, we have got ourselves a race at, well, you guys might know it, as the Red Bull Ring. Anyone know the Red Bull Ring? Only one or two. It's your national track. Come on, guys. But yes, yeah, so we will have some unbelievable racing today. I'm very, very excited. Bubble, what are you looking forward to most today? Well, this is the first time we're going to be seeing the PC and the PlayStation 4 races against each other, so I'm, I've been looking forward to this for, for a couple of weeks now, actually, and to see these guys compete, and we actually got a little preview before uh, in the semifinals, I think we're, we're, going, to get be, we're going to be treated with some, uh, some great races, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's so good, we can hear you twice. Beautiful work there. Uh, of course, this is Bubble Bart's first ever offline final, so I'm really excited to see how he does play out. But yes, we have got ourselves the final coming up for you right now. But first of all, I want to say a massive thank you to Mercedes-Benz for the passenger service today for all of the drivers and everyone else involved in this competition. Now we're going to see a message from our partners. Here we go. Welcome back then. The scene is set. These guys are going to be battling out for 15,000 euros here today, so that's going to be pretty incredible. But now it's time to meet the drivers here in Vienna. So we're going to have some nice little graphics on screen for you, and I can go through a little bit about these drivers and about where they're from and a little backstory of how they've got on and got into this qualification process. First up, we have VP Boxer Forever. He is from Poland, drives for Team VP, and uh, he is one of the rising stars within the esports here on Project Cars 2, and uh, expecting really big things from him today. And uh, yeah, you can see there, doing the peace sign. Loves being involved in these uh, events, and he's uh, the heart and soul of the party for the most part. But yeah, also a pretty good looking chap as well. So that is our first driver, VP Boxer Forever from Poland. Um, yeah, looking pretty good for him. TRL Mangator, one of the very quickest guys in the world. He races for Team Redline, who actually has Max Verstappen signed for them and Lando Norris. So that is a big, big coup for them to have those two drivers. But yeah, he will be racing for Team Redline today and definitely one of the favourites to take away all of the spoils today. Then we've got VP Darwin Dalma. Not only is he a driver at the top end of the spectrum here on Project Cars 2, but he is also team manager of Team VP. Uh, but he has just reached a new level this season on Project Cars 1. He was very, very good, but Project Cars 2, he's just got right to the top. Could this be his first major win on the esports scene? I'm sure we'll find out very, very shortly. Next up then is VP Isaac. This guy is unbelievable. He missed the first qualification round, which was a maximum of 36 points. So he had to play catch up with absolutely everybody. And in four events, he managed to get into the top six and make it officially to our final here in Austria. 
Next up then is Veloce Dornidon, Team Veloce, very new team in the eSports scene, but they are probably the most prominent within the rise of the ranks. But Mr. Dornidon, he is a, a champion on race room. He has tried ha his hand at most racing games, but all of a sudden now, he is one of the very best on Project Cars 2. His first major final on Project Cars 2, expecting huge things from the Veloce driver. Then we've got G2 Isaac. He has got... 7 million land finals to his name. He is qualified on any game you can imagine within the racing scene. And he actually races for G2 Esports, one of the biggest esports on the planet. So yeah, we're expecting huge things from him today. TRL Magic Michael, the Czech, who also drives a team Redline. He is probably everybody's favourite. He smashed it in qualifying four wins out of the five events. He had qualified with one event still to go, so he is genuinely the very best. But upsets generally happen when it comes to LAN events. But yeah, the Czech will be looking to uh, get that first major win under his belt today. Then we've got TX3 Storm. Uh, he used to race for a team called Ascaro, who are very prominent uh, within the Project Cars 2 scene, but now races for TX3. And uh, he actually came second in the Project Cars 1 World Final at Gamescom last year. Uh, he's now changed teams to TX3. And uh, again, he's one of the rising young stars, but definitely has the pace to potentially go out and win here today. And there you have it. That is our finalist. Now I am going to head back into the fishbowl. I'm going to be very, very quick. So we will now hear back from our partners here at Game City. And hopefully you enjoy the racing. See you in a minute. Here we are then, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. You can see an overview of the drivers there. On your right-hand side, closest to us, the Ginger Ninja, Mr. G2 Isaac. Then in the blue shirt, just above him, is Veloce Dornidon. Uh, then just above them is TX3 Storm. To our left, very close to us, the one yawning there, because uh, that's how casual he is, Bubble Bar. Yes, yes, that's how they are. He is Magic Michael. Then we've got Boxer Forever there, looking very intelligent with his glasses, and uh, that's all a play to look intelligent. And then we've got Mr. VP Isaac there, we haven't got the other two drivers um, on screen right now, but you can see they're all pretty relaxed right now, having a little chat. We've also got uh, G2 there. He must be tweeting out to his many fans after all the LAN events he has been involved in. But as you can see, we've got Bubble Bart. It's I'm the here. Pink Brigade. Oh, yes, it is. We've really <laughs> gone for it, haven't we? Yeah, we, we, we didn't even agree to this. It's, it's a coincidence, right? Yeah, we've just got some weird... In, it's like we're twin... No, no, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're not, we're not twins. No. Um, but yeah, we are here for the first race of two. We are in the uh, AMG Mercedes here, CLK LM, which is the uh, GT1, sorry, not Group 1, yeah. GT1 car. And uh, the first race is at Circuit of the Americas. Again, I did mention that is where the Formula One is this weekend. So it's actually quite appropriate that we've got that track first up. Yeah, uh, I, I'm actually going to be uh, rushing home uh, tomorrow to watch, that, uh, to watch that race. But I think this is going to be more exciting. I would like to think so. I'd like to say, yeah. these are the very best. We have whittled them down. We had a, what, 185 or 86 sign-up yes, from like that, 26 yeah. different countries. Uh, at some point, yeah. Yeah, yeah around yeah, 26 yeah. different yeah. countries. We've yeah, worked them yeah. down to 16, and now we've got our final eight. Uh, Mac, well, we're readying up now. We're going into the lobby. It's fantastic work um, here. I'm really super, super excited. Have you got oh. any favorites? Uh, favorites. Here we go again. Oh, I always uh, like to put uh, you on the yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorites. Well, it's, uh, I've seen some, uh, some guys race here uh, today and uh, in the semifinals, and I, I could see some guys struggling, and I, I, I'm not allowed to say it, but I like that. It, it, um, it's. I, I would like it to uh, to have Magic Michael be struggling for first place instead of like being like a mile ahead. It's so, always yeah. Magic Michael. Isn't it? I've seen your Basically, jaw drop yeah. on more than one occasion oh, today yeah. watching him, yeah. and he is an absolute master. But we are here. We're on the track. We're ready. We're on board with Man Gator, and uh, yeah, we should get some action for you on screen. There we go. Beautiful, nice little fade. I love oh, wow. that. That was a. That was a no, lovely bit of work there. 3D uh, and everything. <laughs> but we're on board here with Mangator, but let's go through the cars and the liveries they have chosen. So we've got VP Boxer Forever then. He has gone for uh, the number 49 and Zippenol uh, livery. We have then got Mr. G2 Isaac then, who's gone for a, well, a very, very like Lotus-esque kind of color there, isn't it? With the, the gold and green there. Yeah, it's I like nice. it. I'm glad that they've chosen different liveries, which is always good for us. Yeah. Uh, VP Isaac, who, uh, to be honest, I, I have no favorites, but he's my pick. He's my pick to win this. I feel like uh, every esports LAN event does have that surprise element, that surprise entity. He missed qualifier number one, and it was vital that he made every single one, and he managed to still get himself into that top, uh, uh, well, top 16. Yeah, coming through to the uh, Vienna final. That, that's such an achievement. It's, it's, uh, 
well, again, jaw dropping uh, to see these guys uh, perform like that. I wouldn't be able to perform under pressure like that. It's 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 crazy actually <laughs> to 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 think that he's here after that after um, uh, like having to go through that. It's yeah. We'll I'm have, we'll have to talk a little bit less about your personal life there. Oh, sorry, Bubble. yeah. <laughs> uh, but here we go. We're now on board with Veloce Dorney. He's gone for the blue and white, which is uh, Veloce Colors, of course. He's actually gone for the number 49 as well, so he didn't get the memo, uh, which is fair enough, of course. Uh, Darwin Dalmer then has gone for a very, very German-esque livery there. With the German colors, the number 29, of course, he is from Germany, as is his team. Uh, he's manager, uh, social media manager, he's marketing manager, he's an exceptional driver. Is there anything that man cannot do? He's, he's a manager, basically, yeah. He's phenomenal. Like, like I said uh, in the intro, we have seen Darwin Dalma qualify for you know, world finals or, or, or his teams qualify for world finals. He's never been on the top of the rostrum, never been that guy that you look at and go, oh yeah, yeah, he's, he's really at the top of his game. But then in the last sort of four to five months, he's won multiple competitions uh, offline at, at racing events, picked up so many prizes. He was telling us last night he won uh, a, a TSXW racing <laughs> wheel one day, then he won a graphics card the next day, yeah. and then um, he won a, a Vizarro um, cockpit. Yeah. as well all in the same basically, week yeah it's uh, that that's how you basically you become good by being better than the rest and then you get some get some stuff and then you even become better yeah absolutely but you know now he's just reached that level he's just gone a level above uh, is he going to reach the top of the mountain today you know this is a big test for him uh, he's put in some exceptional performances he's won loads of races with some of the best around in these races in the qualifiers that we did um, so, you know, he's got every single opportunity at his feet. Are we going to see him finally reach that top step? Then we've got TX3 Storm. So he used to race Roscaro, uh, or SDL as they were once called. Um, and he came second in the world final uh, at Gamescom last year on Project Cars, the original game. He, he's got some unbelievable talent. He's still very, very young, but I feel like he's ready. I think this is the opportunity for him to, to really, you know, t take, it, take it upon himself to pick up those big prizes. Well, yeah, but obviously we're not going to be seeing it here because I don't know if you remember how he qualified in all of the qualification weeks uh, that we had in the six weeks before. It's always the last lap, isn't it? So oh, yeah. We don't even have to look at him right now. Basically. No, we don't need to be worried about his qualifying right now. He leaves it right to the last second. But, yeah. you know, the pressure's on right now. We, we've always talked about the, the banker lap. Just get that banker lap time in, and then you've got nothing to worry about, you know, in regards to really pushing the car. And a car like this, around a track like this, you know, there's every, every reason that these cars could go 10 minutes without putting a lap time in, without validations, you know, spins, oh, yeah. damage to the car. Yeah. So, it's, you know, it, it's vital that he actually does to put in a banker this week. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, is it something we maybe need to explain for some people here that, um, that we've got some people here that have never been watching a race, uh, I guess? Yeah, they, they well, yeah, of course. There are loads of people here, and uh, I feel like you're the best at explaining the old bank collapse system. So anyone watching in the stands here, this is uh, Bubble Bar 101 right now. <laughs> Bubble Bar 101. Well, a bank lap, like you have a qualification. It's, uh, it's 10 minutes in this case, where you have 10 minutes to put in your best lap time. And uh, your best lap time usually consists of uh, taking some risk, um, maybe even risking uh, damaging your car. So what you might want to do is go out for a lap and don't be at the fastest you will ever be uh, because you run the risk of damaging your car and then maybe not having enough time to be quali uh, qualifying uh, at all. So a banker lap is just that first, um, like, a little bit more cautious lap that uh, uh, that you run and then after that you can take any risk you want because you already have a time on the board and you prevent yourself from uh, having to start last do you have a direct live feed here to tx3 storm because he has really <laughs> put the cat amongst the pigeons here because he is currently provisional pole and he's someone who just waits to the end of every single session and i mean five out of the five qualifications he did he was, it was right at the end every single time, but this time he is provisionally on pole, three and a half tenths of probably the favorite Magic Michael right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then in third spot is Mangator. Both team Redline drivers are in uh, second and third. And then we've got Isaac here for uh, Team VP. Then we've got VP uh, Boxer Forever. Uh, Dorniden finds himself down in sixth position. Then we've got Isaac. And then we have got VP Darwin Dalma. So who have we not talked about right now yet? We haven't talked about Team Redline Mangator. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's one of those guys that keep, keeps impressing me. I, I know you, you say we need to talk about my social life or my private life then, because if that impresses me, well, I'm a sim racer myself. I yeah. do some sim racing and I see these guys perform laps like just this morning uh, when, when they were doing uh, the qualifications for the semifinals. It, I, 
you said you saw my jaw drop. You literally saw my jaw drop. These guys, guys like Mangate or Magic Michael, uh, Isaac, I saw them put in laps. I, I wouldn't even be able to uh, be able to replicate it if I if I just had a video of them doing it and then having to do it myself. I wouldn't be able to do it. Well, Mangate are qualified on PC where it was probably uh, a little bit more competitive. Obviously, Magic Michael smashed it on PS4, oh, but yeah. with the PC qualification, Mangator still managed to pick up a couple of wins uh, with the likes of Storm around in Darwin, Dalma, Isaac as well, uh, and though you know those guys just in and around you to pick up any kind of win <laughs> is ridiculous. But going back to your point, uh, of course, about making your jaw drop, you know, me and you are pretty handy when it comes to sim racing. Like, we yeah. like to think we're pretty good. Yeah. You look at these, I'm watching them do a lap time. I'm like, You're, why? How are you breaking there? Yeah. First of all, I'm like, how? And then I'm like, why? <laughs> Why are you putting yourself at risk there? But then they hit the apex, and you think, actually, you could probably break later. Yeah, oh it's yeah. quite scary. It's, it's, uh, I saw them. Uh, actually, I don't know if you, if you know this, the way they qualified on Zolder for the semifinals. They, you have this, this little, um, well, little, it's a, it's a big um, uh, chicane. Where, ramp. They call it a ramp these a days. Ramp, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's actually what they use it for, because they, they break the latest they can. They run with two tires on the ramp, as you call it, and they, they go through the corners on two wheels. On two wheels, like have you ever seen something no, like that? It, it's, it's, for them to get the control of the car that they've had, it's been absolutely exceptional. I tell you what, here, Magic Michael, he was put under pressure once by Boxer Forever in our qualifiers. Oh yes, he hasn't been in this position though, where he's in second on the grid right now. He's this is where he's going to have to show his true metal. You know, we've seen him lead qualifiers, you know, all the way through tournaments over the past couple of years. And he's never reached that top step. He qualified for the A1 uh, season number one. He managed to only finish in third position uh, as he, was, he went in as the favorite. Obviously, Johnny from a team, a G2, uh, managed to win that, picked up the 6,000 euros. Uh, and he also, he was in the world final with Team Redline, uh, and it didn't really work out from there. He managed to come third in that with his teammate. And that wasn't really down to him uh, so much, but it was a team effort, and he would never, ever put the blame on a partner. Uh, so he will be looking for more here. This is a big opportunity for Magic Michael. As much as he's been the standout in this competition, he's yet to hit that top spec on this game. He's won the virtual GP, though. He's actually a driver for Haas in the Formula 1 eSports, to be fair. Yeah. He is an unbelievable driver, but Project Cars 2 has eluded him. Yeah, I, I guess, and it, it shows here right now, like Magic Michael is in second, and well, we, we've talked about this before, it, it still is a question of um, being fast in the qualification. Oh, he's gone close, he's gone close, seven oh, hundredths, wow. just shy of eight hundredths of a second then. Oh, wow. And that is, well, that is millimeters, that is nothing at all right now. So Storm still on pole position provisionally, he's back out on track, he's gone in for a fresh set of tyres. And uh, it's kind of almost like match point here in qualifying to Storm. He's going very slowly here. He's going around the final corner. He's going to start his final qualifying lap. And I feel like he wants to cross the line last here so he can cover off anybody else who does manage yeah. to beat his time. To be a classic Storm qualification, I guess. He is a, a clever, clever young human. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So I, I saw... Oh, no. It's, it's gone now. I saw someone who wasn't getting a time in yet. It was a VP driver. Um, well, no, I, VP Isaac there up into third spot. Our top three, Storm, Team, Redline, uh, Magic Michael, and then, of course, Isaac. I would say that would be the top three we would have been looking at coming into this event. Darwin Dalma, though, he is a dark horse here. He is someone that has shown some serious, serious pedigree coming into these finals. And, you know, he's only seven tenths of a second off. Slipstream here is absolutely huge. Two huge long straights here at Kota. And, uh, you know, it's not necessarily best to be out in front. Although the first sector is so technical. If the leader can get a really, really good first sector in, you can almost get yourself out of that uh, sort of slipstream zone or, you know, you, you, you can't follow the guy in front of you's lines. Um, you know, you can't try and find extra time, let's say, behind them because you're having to figure the track out yourself. Well, yeah, that, that, that is true. But I also don't know how, um, how these cars are with the, with, um, with the dirty air uh, behind them. Like, nor normally you could really easily start a slipstream, but you're going to be losing downforce as well. So on the straights, it will be handy, but those corners, especially that last sector, it's, it, it's, it's undoable in, this, in a dirty air, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, I completely agree with you there. I spoke to a few of the drivers about this car specifically, and they said it's not too bad to follow. So they reckon they can follow within half a second here, which is very, very close indeed. Um, and it doesn't affect them too much. You can see the Darwin Downers qualification session is over then. Magic Michael's in the pits then. Looks like Storm is going to be on well, pole position. Mangator then is going to be one of the guys that's going to try and take that spot from him. We've also got Dornidon. Where is Dornidon on track? And I think that's his qualification over as well, isn't it? Yes, he's going very slowly indeed. Uh, G2 Isaac then. Uh, 
Will he be able to topple him from the Team G2? See, he's definitely on a quick lap here. So we've only got him and Mangator on a lap. I think Mangator's right in behind him here. Is that, yeah, Mangator's just in behind. Well, Mangator's made, well, no, he hasn't really made a mistake there. He's just taken a line that mere mortals like myself wouldn't realize to take. No, yeah, and that's the difference. Yeah, that, that's why these guys are the best of the best. You see them take lines and m making, make maneuvers that, yeah, we wouldn't even come up with. Oh, like, I mean, yeah, like he's <laughs> used the curb there to turn the car in, hasn't he? Yeah. That, that, that's amazing. One more corner to go. And I tell you what, it looks like Mangator may have actually closed up here on G2 Isaac. So if Isaac goes fast here, we could potentially see Mangator challenge for pole position. Isaac across the line then. Qualification is complete. What sort of times he posted? Oh, he's not improved. Mangator across the line. Well, it's, the screen's yeah. gone blank here. Are we going to see a Mangator up into that top two? No, he doesn't improve. He is in fifth position. So there you have it then, guys. TX3 Storm is on pole. Magic Michael is in second. VP Isaac is in third. Then we have got Darwin Dalmer in fourth. Mangator in fifth. Then we have got Boxer Forever in sixth. Dorniden for Team Veloce in seventh. And then we've got Isaac Price for G uh, G2 in eighth position. It's race time. This is what we're here for. Oh, yeah. I'm nervous. Imagine how these guys you can actually see him on the bottom left of your screen now how these guys how nervous should be uh, how nervous are they well like, yeah pretty nervous like normally they well they, i was gonna say they should would be taking their two minutes here but we're not lights are going out here we go green it is race number one of today's final and it looks like a pretty good start then by magic michael although tucked in behind him uh, sorry storm magic michael's tucked in behind him and actually gone out wide here to try and go up the inside or around the outside more, uh, more or less magic michael's being stumped here is he gonna hold on to second spot oh there's a spin in the background there not good at all but yes yeah, storm does take the lead in this race then magic michael in second spot mangator for team redline then is in third We've got two Team Redline drivers in the top three right now. VP Isaac in fourth position. Uh, Darwin Downward then is in fifth. Boxer Forever right up in behind his teammate then. We'll go cockpit view here and we'll see how close these guys are. Oh, Maggie just gone! Oh, no. He's completely no. gone! It's oh, been avoided he, though! He's been avoided! Uh, I think, well, wait, where's Dorney? Dorney was the one that spun. Mangator completely rotating the car on the curb there and it was game over from there. And uh, how everyone avoided him there was, was sensational. That, 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 that's cat reflexes. Like, to, to be able to, to avoid that, that, that's amazing. But Magic I'm Michael is not winning a race. Oh. Yeah, so this is interesting What's, now. What reality is this? Like, I have no I, idea, but I, I'm quite liking it. Because <laughs> yeah. I want to see Magic Michael. I, like I said, I've got no favourites here, but I want to see Magic Michael push to the absolute limit. He's been a standout in qualification for this event. Yes. But Storm with pole position says to me he's quick around this track. I, I think we're seeing a new side of Storm here. Like, w we have seen him make some mistakes during the qualification weeks. We have seen him not performing well under pressure so i'm really really curious to see if he can handle it right now with a name like magic michael behind you in your rear view mirror being this close it's this is going to be nerve-wracking for him it's going to be tough for him to pull out a gap on someone like magic michael uh storm is is one of those drivers that i feel like i've almost watched grow up over the last couple of years he was a very arrogant young man a couple oh, of years ago yeah. and it was it was a bit i don't know he was very young he was very he had a lot of belief in his ability um, and it's come across as very arrogant sometimes, but he's just such a nice person to be around these days. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. take anything for granted. He practices like mad. He nearly couldn't make this because of university studies. So, you know, he, he's got big values in his life, of course, as well. But, you know, it's all paying off right now. All that practice he's put in, he's currently leading here. And, you know, of course, getting a big result in the first race takes the pressure off the second, surely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the there, there, oh, he cuts the track. Michael cuts the track there. I have never seen him do that. Well, that is a mistake. That's the pressure he's under here. Of course, we've got a nice little battle here between Isaac and, uh, well, I guess that's Darwin Downer. Yeah, it's Isaac and Darwin Downer. Pretty close here. Teammates, of course, 14 VP. Not really that close. Not able to follow each other through the first sector as well here. But we see the different lines you can take. Kota is notorious for different lines. Uh, you know, being taken here, especially around we're coming up towards the hairpin here. And some people like to swing out wide. Some people like to take it really acutely. Yeah, this is one of those tracks where if you if you start uh, with, with sim racing, if you're new to it, this is one of those tracks where you drive here and you see someone else take a different line and being quicker, that's when you start experimenting with these lines. And you, you see with these guys, even in the top level, you still see guys take different lines because they think it's quicker for their setup, for their uh, type of driving. So um, th that's the interesting part of racing, I, I think, from, from sim racing. Uh, very different to Formula One where you see everybody take the same line and just basically being a train. Uh, it, it's very different here. Can I tell you a little secret? Yeah. Burn it with fire. I hate Kota. <laughs> Not a fan at all. I am. Uh, it's more me. I'm terrible around here. I just do. I can, there's like seven million lines and I 
seem to yeah. find the seven million and one. <laughs> yeah. The seven million and first line, and it's just not good. But yeah. you can see here, Isaac not really able to put the pressure here on Darwin Dalma. Darwin Dalma in that top three, and you know, you've got to get yourself at least a podium, I'd say, in the first race to really be looking at picking up the big, big bucks here uh, in Vienna. The front two, though, it's now about one second, and Magic Michael not really able to close in here. Uh, and this is the first time we've really seen that he's not able to put that pressure on that he has done. Uh, you know, with Boxer Forever, he was behind in the Group A's, wasn't he? Uh, oh, Osher yeah. Was oh. it Osher Schlieben? Yeah. No, it wasn't Osher Schlieben. Uh, it was Hockenheim. So we were at Hockenheim with uh, the what, Group A's. What happened in Osher Schlieben? No, of course, Osher it was Osher Schlieben. It was the Mercedes road car. Oh, yes. And, and lap one, he yes. was behind Boxer Forever, but he just dug in deep and he got the move done really early. He admitted it may have been a little bit of a dive bomb, but the respect that Boxer had, they both, it takes two to tango in that respect. It was pr pretty much move of the tournament uh, oh, so yeah. far. But this time, Storm is in a world of his own right now. Yeah, and I, I just saw Magic Michael just perform the same thing again. He cuts the track there and we just, we both go, oh, that's a penalty. That's a slowdown. He has to slow down there. You're not allowed to cut the track there. But we sometimes tend to forget that these guys know what they can do and what they are, what they can't do, uh, where they're going to get the penalty, um, and where they're just allowed to cut the track. He probably is like millimeters away from getting a penalty. He he will have it in his head. They know every inch of this track. They've practiced for hours upon hours upon hours. You can see that in the two VP drivers here, very close again. Uh, the German livery there in front of his teammate VP Isaac, which is uh, Darwin Dalma. And they're closing in very, very closely indeed. We've got a three man battle here as well. Looks like Mangate and maybe close into the back here. But actually, G2 Isaac is in a very, very handy position here, up and behind Boxer Forever. So we're having a little bit of action here from, uh, from the guy from the UK, which is G2 Isaac, and then the pole, which is Boxer Forever. And uh, looks like Isaac's not had the best of starts here, but he did qualify uh, down in eighth position. So to be in sixth right now, he's going to be pretty happy. But you need, to be, you need to be podium top four, I would say, really, to be pushing towards that next level. But we'll look at the front two here. You know, you've got Storm, who's leading now by 1.7 seconds. What do you do? Do you push or do you, do you let Magic Michael catch him? Do you want to manage that gap? Yeah, that's... That, ooh, oh, that's see, a big I, off, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that, that is going to be a penalty. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter if you know every inch of the track, that's going to be a penalty. I think Mangate is going to get promoted a position here. Um, see, the gap isn't coming out. What do you do here? You've got a slipstream in front of you. Do you take the penalty? Do you just uh, take yeah. the penalty on the chin? It's, yeah, it, it, it's these dilemmas that make racing uh, so interesting. It's... Yeah you, 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 yeah, you can take the slowdown and you can risk being overtaken uh, while you're doing the slowdown and then having enough confidence in yourself that you're able to take, that, uh, take back that position. But on the other hand, you could also just take the penalty. Like maybe it's a one or a two second penalty and you can make a gap of two seconds. Making a gap is maybe easier than actually overtaking someone. So Absolutely. It's, it's a big dilemma in racing and the same goes for when you're in the lead. Like Storm sees Magic Michael in his rearview mirror. He also sees that he, uh, like by the last lap, well, actually it dropped as I say that, but he gained another half a second on him. And it's, at, at moments like that, it's maybe more about confidence than it is by making decisions. Yeah, I agree. This is the interesting battle here. They, these are guys are teammates. Obviously, yeah. manager is now with uh, ahead of VP Isaac. If Isaac's quicker, you know, it, in the qualifiers, we saw that the VP drivers were very, very, uh, you know, candid with their tactics. They were very, very clever. Uh, they got a few drivers, you know, extra points, which is going to help them qualify for the finals. Um, but now it's all or nothing, isn't it? Like, as much as these guys are our teammates, this is a solo competition. Well, They're yeah. all out for their, their you know, they, they earn the money themselves. Guys are closing in there, not able to get the power early due to the angle he took the corner. Yeah. But again, different lines, and you're seeing that there's very similar times being posted by these guys. Yeah, uh, and it's interesting where you say, like, th these guys may have uh, brought their T-shirts uh, with them with their nice uh, team logos on it, but as soon as they're in the chair, they forget oh, yeah. about it. They don't, they don't know that they're wearing the T-shirt again anymore. They, they, they're here to win. They're here to win the money. They're here to win the race. They're here for their, for their own ego boost, to make, make their own name. But not really the team. I mean, of course, also the team, but it's secondary, right? Yeah, no, of course, you know, they've got the the money is the, the most important thing here. We're actually looking at Isaac getting very close here indeed again. Uh, round turn number one here. We've got six minutes, 47 seconds left on the clock. You see the Storm did a 58.0. On the previous lap was a 57. Um, and even though he's into the 58s now, it's still two tenths quicker than Magic Michael. And actually, they're a second quicker, those two, than anybody else on track. Yeah. What a display. You can say all you like about uh, Magic Michael. It's an unbelievable display from him. 
But um, at this present time, he's being beaten by a better man. Yeah. Yeah, and it actually shows as well that Mangator and Dornidon uh, both had, uh, I think it both was in lap one, uh, where they both had an accident. Well, Dornidon spun, spun, yeah, yeah round and, turn one. Uh, uh, Mangator was pushed wide, or uh, I can't remember what happened. No, there, he ran wide, didn't he? He yeah, ran wide, ran yeah. the final corner. So both these drivers, they were like 10 or 12 seconds behind, and now they've closed the gap already. Like, as soon as they're in, in, in free air, they don't have cars around them, they will close up. But then, again, it's the matter of overtaking here. We, ooh, making sure he's uh, he's seen is in his rearview mirror, mirror, I guess. Oh, I tell Isaac, that's the second lap in a row we've seen is breaking into there. He is exceptional on the brakes. And uh, obviously, Darwin Down is closing the gap or extending the gap here um, near the end of the lap. So it's accelerating straight. Here we go, side by side then. Teammates, Darwin Down on the inside. Ooh. Isaac there has to back out the yeah. move. Takes a wider line then through the left-hander. Here we go then. Oh, that's beautiful. Isaac's going to get this position. I think Darwin Dama is fighting back. And you know, there's pretty. the teammates. Yep. That's the teammates there. Darwin Dama could have yep. shoveled up the inside there, but didn't think to do it because it could have caused an accident. But now Isaac, who for me, obviously, is a quicker driver. It's all up to him now to you know maybe push the ascendancy here. Don't think he's going to catch up to the front two, but he wants to guarantee himself uh, that position in third spot. And also, the, the points have tied after two races. It goes to fastest lap. Uh, Ooh, over, yeah. the, over the two races so yeah. of course now he's got to try and press with the fresh air here or the clean air to try and get that fastest lap yeah it will be interesting to see um, as soon as there is a tie uh, who will be uh, the fastest in the race because obviously this is very different from qualifying so you would naturally think that the person in pole position would be faster but it isn't necessarily true because it's a race setup you have more fuel on board you your tires will will de uh, degrade I, yeah i'm not sure if the fuel no fuel depletion is off right no no that's on uh, it's on yeah, yeah, it's uh, on. yeah. so you're, you're gonna have to manage your your weight differences in the car like the car you start with is very different from the car you finish with so absolutely well, we uh, saw we saw earlier with the touring cars and qualification that most of them their front left tire was just completely oh, yeah. gone it was gone uh, yeah and you know this is a very tough track on the tires um you know, just because of the nature of the braking zones and uh, the sharpness of the corners. But I tell you what, if these guys want to get themselves as fast as that, they've got to get into the 57s here. Because Storm, yet yeah. again, leading this race by 2.5 wow. seconds now to, again, Ma Magic Michael. Like, it's Magic Michael behind him. This is How? such the performance that Storm's put in here that he is that far ahead. And uh, Magic Michael hasn't really been able to put the pressure on. He's still got it's a chance there. A big, big second spot is a great start to his, uh, you know, his final campaign. Obviously, we've got the GT3s at the Red Bull GP circuit, and I think that might be where Magic Michael really does shine. Three minutes to go, though. It's looking like Storm's day right now. Well, absolutely. I, I know I said at the beginning of the stream, I said I want to see Magic Michael struggle for first instead of like driving away. Well, here you have it. I would have liked it to see him battle with Storm a little bit more, but... GG on Storm. I absolutely. Mean, absolutely. It's a different guy. Well, you know, I hate to throw a pun out there, but it's like the eye of the storm. Oh, it's like all of these events have been like the hurricanes oh. and the rain, but all of a sudden the, the eye of the storm has shown he's all calm. He's all at one with himself, you know, with the rig, with the game, and he's feeling really good about it. And, uh, you know, he's put it into practice right now because he is looking golden for those big 12 points. But again, it's only one point difference coming second. So 11 points for Magic Michael. Has a good race in the, in, you know, in the in second race. Gets him 12 points. Yeah. Storm doesn't come second. He could yep. still go away and win this competition. Yeah, and and it's actually you, you made a uh, made a point there at the beginning of the race. If you win the first race, that's that your confidence is is just there. And imagine being like Alexander Dornidon right now, being last in this in this race. Imagine having to go in a second race with that in your mind. That's oh, it's, it, it's just absolutely gutting. But there are yeah. prizes. There are prizes ranging, you know, across the whole field. So, they're, they're, you know, these guys are still going to try and battle themselves for, for more, um, you know, more coin, yeah. as they call it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Magic Michael will need to get a big, big result in the next race. But Storm didn't have the greatest of semi-final one race either. He had a terrible race. He was the last at Zolda in uh, the uh, touring car by a quite considerable margin. But he managed to win semi-final number two. So, again, you're talking yeah. about confidence. And that has obviously put him in a really good spot. Well... Maybe that woke him up. Maybe he, he had that Zolder race, and I thought, and he thought, I, 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 I'm not having this. I'm having a different day. He decided right there, and then I'm having a different day. Needed a good kick up the backside. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's definitely working right now. He sees about 2.5 seconds in the lead. You can see that the gap is actually coming down between him and Magic Michael. And at this point, 
You got two and a half second gap. You can go two seconds slower on a lap. Take less chances. Just pick up that win. It doesn't matter whether you finish 40 seconds ahead of someone or one second ahead of someone. It's yeah. still the same amount of points here. He's going to come onto his last lap right now. Runs a little bit wide there. And that is a very interesting line. But he would not not with one lap to go make a mistake like that and get no. himself a penalty now, well, would he? we've seen it before. Yeah, we, we have ha indeed. We have. <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is normally where you start like saving your tires, making sure you don't make any stupid mistakes to to throw away the win. Um, yeah, this is where you take it easy, and we've seen it also before with some drivers who just have this amazing focus and they cannot drop pace because then will they will start making mistakes. I'm not sure what kind of guy Storm is in in that respect, but. It's looking like he's not even taking it easy. He's young, isn't he? He just doesn't have any fear. Like <laughs> when you, as you get yeah. older, you get a bit more fear, and you don't. You, you think about things more. Yeah. Whereas you know yeah. these young guys coming through now, they're just like beam, yeah. laser beam. I'm going start to finish as fast as I can. But we don't call that, We don't call that fear. We call that experience. Yes, yeah. exp <laughs> the experienced racers amongst us. But yeah, yeah Storm. As, oh, that was again. He's run again, wide there. Yeah. Is he take, taking a chance here? I'm just wondering whether. He may oh, have incurred some sort of penalty. He hasn't. He's going to get away with it here, but he really is flirting with those uh, with those limits. Yeah, absolutely. That, as I said, you want to take it easy, but he's not. He's just taking every risk he um, he can. So maybe he's even risk he can afford. Can afford. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's quite it's quite incredible, really, that Storm's managed to put his performance in. Uh, he, he was definitely one of the guys I would I would have tipped to to get himself a big performance in these big finals. He's been at a lot of LAN events now. He's uh, been in a lot of big competitions, especially the World Final. Would have been a wealth of experience for the young man. But he's come here and he has really put it in practice. A few corners to go here at Kota. And it is looking absolutely delicious right now uh, for Storm, for Team TX. Again, taking liberties there with the track limits. And I hope that's not going to cost him here. But he's coming around a final corner. And it's looking very, very likely here that Team TX3 are going to pick up a win here with TX3 Storm. And is he going to give us a flash of the lights or anything no, like that? No, I, I don't think he is. No. Call as a cucumber. Picks up the 12 points then. Moving into the race number two. Magic Michael then. Everyone's favorite before this. Although he didn't win the race, still damage limitation. Gets that second spot and the 11 points. VP Isaac then with third position and the 10 points. We've then got Darwin Dalma, who did hold his teammate up for a while. We can see there that Isaac was clearly the quicker driver. He comes home in fourth position. Boxer Forever then will finish in fifth position for Team VP. There are three VP drivers in a row there. Yeah. Um, just to get three drivers from the same team into a final is ridiculous in itself. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah. So that is your standings. We've still got three more to go through. G2 Isaac then. Veloce Dornidin in seventh position after that big, big uh, spin on turn number one. Not sure, too sure what happened there. Didn't look like there was any crazy contact there. And obviously Mangator made that mistake and uh, finishes down in eighth position. But yeah, pretty decent race there from TX3 Storm. And uh, he's shown from start to finish there with qualifying. He's a, he's a changed man yeah. for a start in regards to... He put a lap time in straight away. He's focused. Focus changed. Maybe his whole strategy has changed. But um, I can I can assure you, I did not see this coming. And I guess these other guys also couldn't see this coming. Um, and and that's maybe what won him the race by just taking a different strategy, surprising other other drivers like Magic Michael, who was thinking, oh, um, what what's happening? And then completely just throwing him off. Yeah, completely agree with you there. Um, in some respects, but you know, it, it's not a surprise to me. You know, any one of these eight drivers have the ability to, uh, you know, win races. They've got here for a reason. These are, the, you know, the best in Europe, if not the best in the world, you know. Oh, yeah. When they had the world finals, it was still the same names coming through. Right now, you see that trophy. That's oh, what they're yeah. battling for. Yeah. And that is an absolute beauty. Yeah. It, it, I'm six foot three, and I could fit inside that trophy. It's, um, <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> no. my stomach maybe not, <laughs> but, but the rest of my body could. Yeah. But that's what they're battling out for. And, you know, it, obviously, it's nice to win loads and loads of money. Like, um, who doesn't want to go to the hotel room and just go, rain on me? Be like that. Be like that. Absolutely. Just, just buy drinks for everyone, for us as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of, of course. <laughs> but, obviously, the trophy for me, it's all about trophies. I love a good yeah. trophy, and that is like 17 trophies molded into one. That oh, is yeah. huge. Yeah, it's, it's huge. And I, I don't think it even says anything on it. So you can, people will, be, if, you have it, if you have it standing there and people will ask uh, questions about it, 
you will have this whole experience to tell about. That's it. It stands for something. Like six, put six thousand euros on your on your bank account. It doesn't stand for anything. No, like, of course people not. People won't be asking about it. No, they will be asking about the trophy. Well, TX3 Storm has got his best opportunity yet at that big trophy with the win in race one. Of course, then we have Magic Mike in the second, and then rounding out the podium was VP Isaac. We're now going to head for a quick break here, uh, but join us back for race number two and the final race of the A1 Esports here in Vienna. Welcome back. We're here still in Vienna. It's a little bit overcast here. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about, first of all, because, oh. you know, the racing's Sorry, amazing. Yeah. Like, we love the racing. This town hall behind us. Oh, wow. Holy banana boats. Like, uh, yeah. that is a sensational like, building, by the way. Yeah. If, if you have never been to, uh, to Vienna, please do, because it's beautiful here. Yeah, I, I came here in April for season one, and I was in the outskirts. So I didn't really see too much, and then so I was a bit disappointed. Like, oh, Vienna, everyone says it's beautiful, but it's, it's, it's not. Came at this time, blown away. Right in the center, it is unbelievable. But anyway, let's got to talk about racing. Oh, racing, yeah. So Storm, right. <laughs> of course, wins out in race number one. Picks up the big 12 bomb, the 12 points here. And you can see them on screen right now. Any punch-ups happening right now? No, it doesn't look like it. No. Looks like uh, Isaac's tweeting his fans. <laughs> He's got the best fans in the world. Isaac, the, the other, there's two Isaacs. Oh, yeah. Are tweeting their fans. <laughs> yeah. Isaacs have the best fans in the world. I'm, I'm the real Isaac. No, I'm the real Isaac. Yeah, so who is the real Isaac? I guess we'll find out in the mm. race too, to be yeah, fair. This is, this is the, like, the, the trophy, the money, whatever. It's yeah, it's about, all about it's who's a, the real Isaac. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> so, of course, we've got race number two here. We are at Red Bull GP with the Mercedes AMG GT3. Uh, this should be very interesting indeed of course storm oh. leads the way with those 12 points mangator not mangator magic michael came in second spot so has 11 points right now uh, this is without protest or anything like that happening in the background and then of course in third position was vp isaac then darwin dalma finished down in fourth position and then fifth was uh, vp boxer forever by i would imagine you have way better memory than yeah i'm gonna yeah. go for <laughs> vp boxer for ever uh, and then Mangator and Dornidon were the last two with GT Isaac coming in sixth position I think yes. I've absolutely nailed it again yes. look at that glistening trophy oh, wow. yeah. it's almost as shiny as your uh, hair no oh, I'm not going to go no, there I can't do it, it to oh, you no. I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> my dad's watching at home and he will be fuming with me absolutely livid with me about that I'm sorry my man um, but yeah we are going to be here for race two now I think we're going to ready I think we should do this yeah it's the final race of the it's, A1 Esports season two We've been building up for this moment. Is Storm going to finally get that? Well, actually, the top four, none of them have ever won a major competition Ooh. here. So there's a big, big Ooh, newbie wow. who's going to win a major here on Project Cars 2. Well, I'm ready to do this. I'm going to yeah. ready up myself. Yeah, it, it is race time here at Red Bull GP. With these GT3 cars, should be very familiar to these guys. It's the, the one car that everyone races, GT3. Yeah, yeah of course. This, this is one of the... GT3 is the class that if you open Project Cars, you go to the Browse Lobby section, you... You just open uh, open the list, and I think 60 or 70 percent of the races is in GT3, and half of them is on Monza. But that's a different story. Well, <laughs> half of them are on Monza for about 20 yeah. seconds. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. Turn one's fun for them. Yeah. But yeah, we are here with the best of the best. So I'm not expecting any Monza-esque turn one incidents here. And again, I Ooh, love that wow. transition. Well, I'm a little uh, little nauseous after that though. Like. Did you see it fly off? <laughs> oh, there's a little bit. Whoever, did, whoever come up that transition deserves a raise, that's for sure. Oh, yes. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can see them. We are on board with Storm. We've got people taking <laughs> selfies with us uh, outside the fish tank. But yes, yeah, so Storm, obviously the winner of uh, race number one. We're here at the Red Bull GP. And uh, uh, do you want to talk us through this circuit? You're, uh, you're quite aware of it. So. Uh, it's, it yeah, I, I am aware of the circuit. It's... Um, uh, it's a very hard circuit if you uh, don't know the, the special things of these turns. Like you have this, this turn number one where you can run a little bit wide, but not too wide because it, that's the, the, the green stuff over there on the left. The green that's stuff. The green stuff, yeah. What, what do you call it? AstroTurf. AstroTurf, the green stuff. Um, you can run wide over it and in the next corners you can see that there's, um, uh, there's curbs uh, over there behind, or behind the curbs there's this, yeah, again, the AstroTurf. And if you run over, the, uh, over it over there, you will hit the grass there and you will just lose all traction. And th this is one of the most important uh, uh, turns to actually get some traction because these high speed corners over here, they're so easy to mess up. Like if you hit the, the, the apex on the, on the, on the inside, 
um, just perfectly. You're going to be like half a second faster than the guy th than the other guys. But if you hit it too much, you're going to be completely losing the car. And this whole following section, you will be slower. Yeah, wonderful. I love the way that you're looking directly at me as you're saying all these mistakes happen because <laughs> that's where I make all my mistakes. Really appreciate that. The people people watching didn't see that, man. You you didn't have to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, these things happen. Uh, we're now going to start a flying lap here with Storm. Of course, he was on pole position for the first race, so I'm expecting absolute fireworks here. He is going to go for it. Hammer and Tong, I would imagine. Turn number one then, of course. He's going to grab a little bit of curb on the inside. You can run wide here around the, uh, the first turn and, of course, the final turn. You can run a lot, a lot wider than you would, so might see overtakes then. Turn number one, obviously, oh, an yes. uphill braking zone as well, so people can, you know, push the limits there, push the boundaries of overtaking. And, you know, of course, there's going to be a lot of slipstream because there's a long, long um, um, straight there. So there could be some outbreaking of each oh, other, yes. going off track, making mistakes. I think there could be genuine fireworks in this session. Oh, absolutely. And you mentioned the, the last and the first uh, turn. You can uh, run wide there. Uh, th there's actually a little bit of a, a, a reminder there. There's, um, let's call it the curves, the green stuff, and then some red stuff. It's uh, the green and the red astroturf. Um, if you run on the red, you will get a penalty. If you stay on the green, you're fine. Even though all four wheels are over the white line at that point, which usually gives you a penalty and which makes this a really weird track because you can really cut, uh, cut corners and run wide at some point. Absolutely agree with you there. We can see that we've already got one provisional time in, which is uh, Darwin Dalmer, posted Ooh. a 41.7, um, which I'm expecting to be absolutely obliterated, by yeah. the way. Uh, Box of Forever then. Oh, that's a lovely livery car, by the way. Oh, we haven't wow. gone through liveries. One, two, eight livery there. Well, that is yeah. nice. That's, that's right now livery of the day. Yeah. We right haven't now. done that game yet right today. Now. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, well, actually, now, well, Mangator went pole provisionally for a short time. That Magic Michael has taken the spoils now. We're going to watch his, uh, a couple of these. Oh, Storm again. Oh, after there we second. go. And, well, there you go. That one, well, actually, you can see there that Darwin Dalmer, or was that? Yeah, Darwin Dalmer has gone up into second spot here by three Ooh. tenths. So Storm took pole position, but Magic Michael finds himself down in third position right now. Again. The times are going to absolutely tumble. Uh, but we'll check out the cars they're using. We've got here the, the very generic uh, livery here for Storm yeah. in the grey and yellow, number 16. Uh, Darwin Downman, then he's gone for the livery he used in the qualifiers here. Uh, we've got three VB drivers, and I've asked them if they could use different liveries, and they did, which is... a. Uh, you know, yeah. thank you, guys. Really yeah. do appreciate that. Thank you. Magic Michael in oh. the beloved Hot Wheels oh, livery. I think we have a contender here. Everybody has a soft spot for the Hot Wheels. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm putting the thumbs up for livery today at the moment. Yeah. We've still got a couple to look at here. Then we've got G2 Isaac. In no way has he gone for the same one as Magic Michael. Oh. He can't win now. They both, there's two of them. <laughs> yeah. They can't win. Disqualified. Yeah, disqualified <laughs> from the livery test here or the livery competition man gator then's gone for a, a gray with a red stripe oh hello oh someone having a little moment there uh boxer forever i like that from boxer forever i do might have to give it to him you know there's dawny didn't oh okay Ooh. that's just sleek isn't it that is Ooh. sleek oh yeah nice little blue stripe there down in the middle I, of the I, car i want to see the side of that of my car but i think we've got to pay homage to borneo here Oh. It's the Borneo livery. <laughs> We've got to go for Borneo here in yeah. that orange and baby blue. Uh, yeah. And actually, he goes up at the third spot, this VP wow. Isaac. Very good time indeed. A couple of people crossing the line there. No one. Oh, hello. Darwin down the pole position. One and a half tenths then. And I tell you what, that could be absolutely vital here. Um, if a couple of VP drivers could get ahead of Storm, they could genuinely work together here as a team to get one of their drivers that top spot. Yeah, so where did uh, Darwin Downer finish in the first race? Fourth. Fourth. Yeah, because Isaac made that overtake, didn't he, with a couple of laps to go. Um, but yeah, Darwin Downer, it would actually, to be fair, if there's anyone who could be ahead of uh, Storm right now, perfect for him it would be Darwin Downer, because he's, you know, three positions below him yeah, from the exactly. previous race. If Ma Magic Michael was ahead of him or Isaac was ahead of him, then he could be in some trouble. But right now, he would take the yep. way the grid is formed here. Th this is actually where he might be thinking, well, second. It's fine. I'm, I'm fine. Let's finish the race in this. Uh, in oh. this oh, well, that's Hold not. on, Sally. That is a, a moment. And that will be in his head. That, yes, of course. And we, we've spoken about uh, people going into the pits early. They put in the, their maximum time. They found a time that maybe they didn't find in practice. And then they head into the pits. We've not seen that yet today. Um, although Magic Michael's in the pits. But I've got a funny suspicion he's going to be coming back out to his fourth. Yeah, of course. But sometimes they find that time that they're just like, Wow, where, where has that come from? Uh, the, the perfect lap, let's say. Lewis Hamilton, Singapore. He had no yeah. idea where that come from. Oh, no. No one no. has any idea where that come from. I, I, I always question, like, do they even remember the lap? Yeah. Like, they, they, they did it. They see their time on the board. And did I just do that? Like, 
but you, you, you look at them when they're analyzing each other, because obviously the, the two semi-finals were separate today. And I'm watching these guys analyze their, you know, their, their fellow competitors, and they're just saying the same things as what we are. Oh, breaking later there. Break. So like, it's, they don't, I don't think they really know themselves when they really hit it. Uh, an unbelievable time. No. Storm there really taking limits with the final corner here. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, well, that might count actually, to be fair. Is he going to go back on the pole position? Does not no. find that time. So Darwin Dalma here has thrown a spanner in the works, that's for sure. Because Storm would have liked a two wins here. Guaranteed. Big prize money. I'm off home. Back to France. You know, may take yeah. a couple of days off uni. Yeah, maybe. You know, <laughs> go partying. I don't know what... what Storm doesn't, like, doesn't actually drink, to be fair. So he'd be partying uh, a soft play area. He's quite a young man. He'd just be down yeah, the local well. park on the swings. He's that yeah. kind of guy. He loves it. <laughs> uh, oh, G2 Isaac up to third. That is a big surprise then. So now Isaac up to third in world. Championship favorite Magic Michael under pressure here down in sixth, but he's only a six tenths of a second top six spread. Well... I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah, that's ahead it's, of a time. It's, uh, it's, it's weird to see that um, in the qualifications, uh, the qualification rounds, the six weeks uh, we did before, you would see maybe a one second difference uh, between the whole grid on, uh, on such a lap. Right now, it's 1.1 second, second between the eight best uh, drivers of the world. And I'm baffled by it. I was I was expecting it to be a lot closer, but these guys are actually struggling. Yeah, there's a few of them really are struggling. Watching Isaac again. Is he going to improve once again? Oh, he does. Doesn't improve Ooh. his position, though. Uh, but it's now a two-tenth spread over the top three. Uh, Dornigan's found some sp uh, pace here now. He moves up to fourth. Magic Michael down into sixth now. Isaac wow. all the way down in uh, fifth position. So Isaac, for me, and Magic Michael, those two of the favorites, are struggling here in this final. And we always say that they're surprises at land finals. Offline finals, everyone's using the same rig. They've not got the creature comforts of yep. that special cushion they like you know, to yep. sit on or that special chair or you know, just, just little creature comforts they've got around them. They've all got the same setups here. Dornigan goes second. Ooh. Two hundredths oh, of wow. a second. And I'll tell you what, oh. Storm now will be 50p, 5p time because he's got some people around him. He's almost mid-pack now. If they, if they finish right uh, like this, it's only one point different now. Well, yeah, Darwin Downer would be one point behind Storm. Oh, there's a, lo there's oh, a lot wow. of racing here to come, but I'm... Wow, this is... Oh, I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> Actual Vision is speechless. Uh, well, grab your cameras. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Go and get the popcorn, ladies and gentlemen, because this is about to get frisky here. We've got 50 <laughs> seconds left to go then on the clock. You see Dornigan's probably on his last lap here. Uh, then we've got VP Darwin Dama still on that pole position, and he's out on the quick lap here as well. Uh, where is he coming up to on the circuit right now? He's actually coming through. He's just got done the first sector uh, here. Um, yes, yes, just done the first yeah. sector here. Now coming down towards the hairpin. So this will be his last effort as well. Uh, let's check out Dornigan. Has he got that pace to potentially take pole position? Oh, he's, he's looking like he's running really clean lines, not taking too many risks. He's, uh, he's one of the one of my favorite people to watch drive. I've commentated on him in multiple yeah. esports now, and he is, he is smooth as silk. He is ridiculously smooth. Mangator oh. has just been overtaken. He's down in eighth position. Dorney didn't cross the line. Did he improve? No, he didn't. Oh. He's in the pits then. Magic Michael's the one to watch out for then. So he's actually now coming through the second sector. He will be the last across the line, I believe. Darwin Dalmo is coming up towards the final couple of corners. Is he going to cement his position on that front row of the grid? Is anyone going to be able to get themselves up into the front row with him? He's run wide there. That may be it for him. We'll see, though. Uses every inch of the track possible. He's going to come across the line. Is he going to put even more pressure on the rest of these guys then? Across the line he goes. No Ooh, improvement wow. then. So now Storm. Storm, well, actually, I think Storm might be the last person to cross the line here. Yes, he yeah. will be. G2 Isaac, well, no, I think G2 Isaac might be the last. <laughs> oh, no, G2 Isaac's now coming through, um, actually, yes. into the final couple of corners. Yeah, uh, we've got VP Isaac there. Where's Magic? Magic Michael across the line. Does he improve then? He needs to find six tenths of a second. Oh, Ooh. he finds four. He goes up to fifth. Top five separated by two and a half tenths right now then. Storm is on a lap of dreams here though. He's got two more corners to go. Is he going to take this top spot or is he even going to get to the front row of the grid? If he, if he gets, well, if he finds a tenth and a half here, he is going to be pole sitter here for race looking number two. Quick. He's looking quick. He's looking very quick here. He's taking the final corner as, uh, as strongly as you possibly can. Across the line, he's going to go. Does he take that pole position? Yes, yes he does! Wow. Half a tenth of a second oh, here! Wow. Storm 
for TX3, has absolutely smashed the field to pieces here. And now he's obvious favorite here to win the big, big bucks here. It's wow. classic storm right at the death. Oh, it's... It is literally a second to go. Qualifying is over here. TX3 wow. Storm, take a bow. You have just made me very excited <laughs> indeed. Yes. Darwin Dalman must have thought yes. that was in the bag, and it's, it's gone. It's, uh, do we have a winner here? Uh, well, you know, he's starting in the best position. He's got pole. Yeah. He's won the first race. Now he's on pole position once he's again. He's got everything. He only needs to finish this race now. Well, in yeah. Just stay ahead, basically. Yeah. You make it sound so easy, Bubble. He's got seven of the best yeah, esports drivers in the easy. world. It is pretty easy. Here we go then, guys. It's race time. The lights have gone out. We're green here. We're on board with Storm going up towards turn one. Already goes across, but Darwin Dalman's got a fantastic start. Up to turn one. Storm cannot cover him off. And I think VP Darwin Dalman's going to hold on here. Storm around the outside. Squeeze out on the exit and does hold on. He's got I'll tell it. you what, both those drivers there oh. had huge respect for each other. Hard but fair racing. Fantastic work. Slipstream them up in towards turn number two. And and you can see side by side then Dornedon and Magic Michaels coming oh, through the field here. Up towards turn two, then Dornedon has the inside line. And now, well, Dornedon's going to hold on here. Darwin Dammel with a mistake though. Momentum shift here. Uh, well, actually, Darwin Dammel's moved down. Magic Michael up to second spot here. And we can wow. have a Goliath battle. Fifth up to second in two corners. Darwin, oh. Darwin Dammel fighting here. And oh, is he's he on gonna... the grass. He's on the grass. He's got to win this race. He knows oh. what he's got to do right now. Oh, Darwin Dumbas got. Oh, what a save. Oh, what wow. a save. Free wide in the back there as well. Uh, you can see it is uh, G2 Isaac. We've got to stand forward with the leaders here. Let's check out the cockpit cam. Nearly at the end of lap number one, up towards the final sector here. And Magic Michael's made a glorious start here. And that is quite, quite simply magical. I, I, I need to see a replay of that. I, I cannot imagine how that looked from his point of view. Oh, He must be screaming right now in his chair. It looked absolutely clean as a whistle um, for us here. Fifth up to second. And, uh, you know, some to be a great esports driver, you need moments like that. That was oh, absolutely yeah. fantastic. You can see that Storm. Looked like he may have lost the rear there on the curve, but actually held onto it nicely. But Storm again, half a second in the lead here. And the pressure now is on Magic Michael. Magic Michael has to win this for any chance of him taking the big, big prize. Ooh. Storm makes a mistake here. Momentum shift then. Magic Michael, is he going to be able to draw up alongside him? I think up by turn number two, he might be close enough here to make a little dive around the outside. Storm, I imagine it's going to go defensive on the inside line. He does he does it really early. He actually telegraphs it to Magic Michael. Get the TV camera on. Here we go, around the outside there. Magic Michael will be able to get a power early uh, because of the... Uh, Less acute angle he's going to take, but Storm does still. Oh, wow. oh side by side on oh, the grass. No. Oh. Storm is squeezed him onto the don't grass there. there. And I'm just wondering if that's going to be a penalty. But I think that would, if that was protested, he would actually get that oh, taken away regardless. He's going, he's going around it. the outside. Oh, Bubbles wow. getting excited. Oh. He's gone for the switch back. The whoop de wop. Is he going to get the nose up there? No, he doesn't. Oh. Very close indeed here. Now, this is racing, Bubble. This is putting pressure on the one in front. I think he saw that mistake from Storm and thought, okay, I need to get this. I'm, I'm getting this. I'm going to get pressure on there and I'm going to force you into a mistake and it, it's it's looking spectacular. I'm going to be completely honest here. I believe that Magic Michael's angry that we've not picked his livery as livery today <laughs> and that has really put a bee in his bonnet right now. Is there any penalty? No penalty for him right now. So I'm still, again going cockpit cam. This is the battle we want to see. Whoever comes out on top here, you know, if Magic Michael comes out on top, it'll be tied on points and it will go down to count back, of course, oh, on yes. the, the fastest laps here. Storm again, not looking you know, as good through turn number one. Are we going to see yet another mistake here? Magic Michael now again within four tenths of a second. Up towards turn number one here. And is Magic Michael going to be able to get on the brakes later here? You see he's breaking at the same point there. Storm again, not yeah. looking good. No. Nope. Bad momentum out of the first corner there. Actually, to be fair, completely wrong. Storm's actually pulling away here. Uh, but yeah. Magic Michael, it's a 20 minute race this time. It has been extended by five minutes from the first race. So as long as he can keep putting that pressure on Storm, there's always going to be that opportunity for him. Yeah, and the People will sometimes ask, like, what is it with, with pressure? Like, what can pressure do with you? And we're getting the evidence right here. I think Storm is feeling the pressure and trying to put in those qualification times in during the race. You're going to be making mistakes like that. You, you want to cut that... that oh, uh, Magic Michael, the oh, brakes really late there. there. Has to run out wide and actually gives the opportunity then to Storm. But that, you can see then in the background, Darwin Dalmer, I believe, in third position. Yeah, he's closing yeah. in nicely here. And I've got a funny suspicion that the Storm is not the quickest man on track. This man right here for Team VP is the quickest man on track. But he has got someone in front of him called Magic Michael and another driver called TX3 Storm. Yeah, so I would like to see a three-way uh, three battle right to the end. But as... As you also know, during these battles, you will be destroying your tires. Oh, yes. So 
if this is going to be a three-way battle, they might throw away their own race here. Yeah, absolutely. Battling this hard, this early in the race, um, your tires are going to be absolutely knackered at the end. And you might even see people like Dorney then um, make a run for, for a first position if these guys He's got a penalty, down. unfortunately. He does look really quick here, though. Uh, you can see that the lap times then is a 128. 3-5-2 then for Storm, a 128-8 then, so a bit of a drop-off here for Magic Michael, which has now put him into the clutches here of Darwin Dalma with 15 minutes to go, 28-4 then, so almost matching Storm's lap time, and actually Magic Michael is the one under pressure here, because Darwin Dalma is going to look to make a move, Magic Michael then goes defensive just before the breaking zone, turns out and uh, blocks off the move then on the exit, Storm runs wide there, so does Darwin Dalma, and actually they're all making mistakes here, 8 tenths cover them, you can cover these guys with a loincloth. <laughs> What do you think? Was that enough room he left there? Like, Absolutely. It was before the breaker zone. For me, that is, you know, you can have community races, you can have races with your friends where, you know, you're all respectful and stuff, but, you know, when it gets to this top elite level, that isn't frowned upon there. That is yeah. hard, aggressive defending. Darwin Dalma oh, didn't yeah. plan, you know, Darwin Dalma expected it because he did not plow into the back of him oh, there. True. And yeah. I'll tell you what, Darwin Dalma is one of the fairest drivers there are in esports, but he would have done exactly the same there. That's true. That's maybe true, yeah. And, and this is also where you, where you see the evidence of having to defend will make you slower. If someone is behind you and you have to defend and someone's uh, in front of you, they will drive away from you. Um, that's probably what we're, what we're gonna be seeing here. If Magic Michael Oh, that's to, a moment. Uh, yeah, there it is. He's held on there. That's the second lap in a row though. And I think Magic Michael chasing Storm down may have burnt down that front left down tire. Yeah. Darwin Dalma looks the, the hungriest here. We'll check the lap times again as possible. Right. Not gonna be too much in it really here. Uh, you can see a 1.28.7. So Storm was a little bit slower there. And that's a 28.5 then for Magic Michael. And of course, Darwin Dalma. Storm there, nearly get the car sideways. But actually Magic Michael looks like he's got the best run out of turn number one. Storm under a little bit of pressure here, and the slipstream you'll see as they get to the higher gears is really where the engine has to do the work, and that's where the slipstream is absolutely key. Absolutely, and then it's it's uh, of course at the end of the of the straight. Oh, look that's a at big that. moment! Uh, and there we go, Magic Michael. He, he yeah. was this close on lap number one, and he made a move on him, and we know he's really good at breaking downhill. Coming down in towards turn number three here at. Uh, the Red Bull GP circuit is going to go out wide here, and his Storm Storm's not going to defend oh. it here. We're going to go TV camera around the outside. He's going to get the power. Uh, oh, I thought he got it done there, but actually that's Darwin Dalma. Wow. Storm's made a mistake defending yep. here. That could potentially be a slowdown penalty. And now all three of these guys are battling for the Look lead. At Magic that Michael is defending and attacking at the same wow. time. Wow! It's one thing attacking or defending at this level, but to do both in one move that is phenomenal. But look how close these guys are. This is esports, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we want to see. And this is sensational. And, and this is also why these guys are the top of the line. This, if you would have any online lobby with three guys this close, having to defend an attack, there would be incidents like after lap one and these guys are so close and they didn't even make contact once. No, absolutely not. You see Storm there didn't use as much of the runoff there on that lap, which means, to, which says to me, he has not got the same speed advantage here. Magic Michael again seems really good on the brake. Storm goes defensive and does exactly what Magic Michael did to Darwin Dalma with great. the defense there. Beautiful to work there. Let's check out here uh, Isaac, VP Isaac then in behind. And actually I feel like dornigan has got a, a, a disadvantage here. We've got to stay on board with the top three here. We yeah, cannot move we from that. To. We're going to go on board here with Darwin Dalma. In. He's closing in. Magic Michael again going around the outside. Darwin Dalma will close in here because these are both going to be slow. Magic Michael's then going for the whoopty wop oh. on the inside. Storm's made a mistake. He's run oh, wide. Yeah. Oh. Here we go, Contact. side by side. He cannot defend him onto the grass. I think Magic Michael's going to do him here into the breaking zone. But is Darwin Dalma going to try and follow him through here? He'd be clever to go inside here because Storm is going to be hung out to dry. Storm goes late on the brakes there, closes across oh. the bonnet. And wow. there we go, Darwin Dalma taking an opportunity here. And I'll tell you what, if Darwin Dalma finishes second here, Storm could lose his whole championship. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. It's all on the line right now. He has to defend right now. He does indeed. Wow, this is unbelievable racing. 11 minutes, 30 seconds to go. And I don't know whether my heart could take this, but I'm hoping it does continue. Do you think he knows whether he has the fastest lap or not? Oh, no idea. They would have no idea. And also, it's on the fly. These laps can be changed. Yeah, it can get we quicker. Go. Here we go. Darwin Dalma's was having a little go. The Storm's going to go defensive again. Storm there squeezing on to the grass a little bit there, but Darwin Dalma wasn't really alongside him there. So a very, very uh, a fair move there. But I tell you what, Magic Michael's not driving away here. And actually, Storm may be able to attack again. What's this happening? is ebbing and flowing crazy. What is happening? 
Like, did he actually destroy his tires there in the beginning of the race? I'm not too sure here. Uh, he was pressing really hard here. And oh. now Storm's made that mistake. It's going to be a drag race then. Up to turn two. Magic Michael's got the position done there. Storm, that's naughty. Really naughty by Storm there. Squeezing Diamond Down. But Diamond Down was held on here. He's got the inside line then. Going up in towards turn number two. Round and it, well, Storm's managed to hold on there. He's gone really late on the brakes. Diamond Down with a whoopsie walk. Here we go. Down in towards turn number three. He's going to be side by side. Is Storm going to lose a position twice in the same corner? And you see Storm is not able to squeeze him. And actually, it looks like Darwin Dam got a poor exit there out of turn number two. And Darwin Dam is trying to find every inch of the track on the brakes on the grass there. Very risky track. Storm's gone in deep here and covered it off nicely. And at this point now, it doesn't look like Storm's even worried about Magic Michael. He wants to tie on points and he wants it to put it into a lottery almost. Yeah, and, and this is where Storm must be thinking, leave me alone. I'm, I'm battling for the win here. I'm battling for, for the championship. Oh, oh. Darwin Dam, a big moment! Oh. Holds on, what to say? Oh man, that, that has to be so good. I, I, oh, Storm's got to be smiling there, right? It's oh, his yeah. first bit of rest yeah. for, for however long. He, I know he's obviously wanted to lead the race, but Magic Michael didn't give him a moment's peace. And neither <laughs> Darwin Dam, and Darwin Dam is looking racy right now. We saw with Nico, uh, Nico Rosberg, Lewis Hamilton in previous season when Nick, uh, Nico Rosberg won the World Championships, Hamilton tried backing him up at yep. Abu Dhabi. Are we going to see Magic Michael here try and back Storm up into VP Darwin Dalma? That would be a smart move, although we, will, we are seeing right now that he is driving away from him, and I'm, I don't have a feeling Darwin Dalma will ever back down. Yeah, so. it's, a, it's a clever strategy by Magic Michael, because he's now putting pressure on Storm to match him for lap times, which means he could potentially make a mistake. Also knowing that Darwin Dam is very close behind him. So, you know, he's got yeah. in the mirror a big red car, a big Mercedes badge in that mirror, and obviously he's also got to try and push to try and get the lead again in this race. So it, I think Storm's in the worst position here out of all three of these drivers. Absolutely. He must be, he must be screaming in, in, in his chair right now. He's, this is not a position you want to be in there, especially if you win the first race and be on pole position in the second race and yeah. then be in this position where you have to attack defend at the same time and attack the guy that you're actually fighting for the championship do you know what the best thing about this is we are gonna if this stays like this we have gonna completely lost our voices completely lost our minds lost everything about us and we still won't know who won it yeah it's yeah. going to be ridiculous. We're going to call it a tie and go home. Yeah, right? that's it. Yeah. We're just going to go tie that dude. <laughs> Magic Michael here is backing Storm up into Darwin Downer. He is. He is 100% slowing down. We'll see by the lap times here. They're all doing 28 to 29s. Uh, and you can see on this lap, we'll see as they come across the line. Magic Michael is going to back Storm into Darwin Downer. Now, this is a risky strategy because if he does get overtaken by Storm, it is game over. A 129.7, okay, so it's, a, it's a, about the same as he did the previous lap, but it's visibly smaller. He's definitely backing him up here. And we're going to yeah. go on board with Darwin Dalmo and see what this is going to do to the situation. But he's got to pick and choose his moments here. You know, you don't want to be coming out of turn number one, up towards turn number two, with him right up your chuff pipe. You know what I mean? You don't want him that close. No, you, you don't want anybody that close, especially when you're, when, when so much... Oh, that's they, a mistake there yeah, by Magic yeah, Michael, but that... I think that's a clever mistake. Again, he's able to mistake? get the power earlier because he's gone out wide, you but he's going to slow down the apex speed of Storm. You think that was a fake mistake? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think You're this guy's him clever. Out. You're oh, calling him out. Man, he's been unbelievable <laughs> at leading races. He's been almost impossible to beat when leading races. He is definitely playing tactics here to yeah. slow, and it's, it's viable. Oh yeah, it's six thousand euros for the it's first position. He's got, he's got to do it. It is part of racing. Like and he tactics, obviously, yeah. he obviously knows something we don't know about the fastest laps here. Oh yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. got to do the straight. He's got seven minutes to do it. Storm with a mistake there, well, there we go. but he should be able to get a power pretty well there. Obviously, not the acute angle that it's, Darwin Dalma yeah. had. This is close, bubble. Yeah, this is close. <laughs> this, that, well, this is exactly what we wanted when we came here. This is, this is it. This is what we asked for. Oh man, the first race was a. Uh, was not the most ideal for commentary, but a second race. Well, my voice is nearly gone here. Yeah, um, my it. sanity is on the ropes right now. And again, Magic Michael leads this race here with Storm in second. That is the role reversal of race number one. So right now they are tied on points here for the big $6,000 or 
dollars. Euros, yeah. I'm making up currency here. Storm is a mistake then. Darwin Dalma has got the momentum here up towards turn number two. You can see the Evil. Magic Michael is trying to stop Storm from yeah. getting that slipstream here. We're on the best seat of the house here with Darwin oh, Dalma. Wow. Storm closed him off then. He's got to get rubs yeah. away. Storm's made the movement now. He cannot close him back off. Magic Michael with the mistake then gets sideways. The Storm's been on. Oh, he's on the yeah. Darwin Dalma's oh. going to push up alongside him here. And I think Magic Michael has caused Storm to lose the position. We're going to go TV camera down it towards turn number three. Oh, he's not I, there yet. I, I think he's done it. No, not there yet. I think the Magic Michael has pulled an absolute blinder here out of the pack, an ace out of his pack. Oh, side by side, mode. almost touching. Darwin Dalma has got the move done, but Storm's trying to hold on. He's got the inside oh, line through wow. the left hander. But hold how, me, hold me, Bart. How is he wow. still beside him? How is he still there? He's, got, he's taking the position back. No, he's not because he's been whoopty whoop back oh, again here. Wow. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Darwin Dalma, Storm makes a mistake. Runs wide. That yep. could be key. Darwin yep. Dalma's got it. And that stems from turn number two. Storm's, oh, yep. he's, he's tried too hard. Yeah. He's tried too hard, and it's now oh, going to be no. a, a penalty for Storm. Poor guy. And it looks like Magic Michael here is, uh, well, well that is if that's strategy. A penalty, if that's a penalty, that's his championship. Yeah, absolutely. It's gone. It's gone for him. We'll see it. The, the name on the left-hand side of your screen will go red next to Storm, I believe. I can't see it being any other way. He is in second position. If he does get away with it here, we are going to have that tie. <laughs> Darwin Downer yeah. tried absolutely everything there. And I tell you what, from Storm and Darwin Downer, they both need to take a bow because that was oh, yeah. unbelievable. Oh, yes. Storm hasn't got a penalty here. How they I, both survive that and and just the tactics being deployed there by Magic Michael. It's this is this is quality. Yeah. And this is, as I said, uh, probably way more exciting than the Formula One. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Darwin Dalma then has got to try and make this move again. Magic Michael is slowing him down again. It's half a second. Yeah, he's, he's got it. He's it. going for it. Second attempt here. He's done it once before. He knows he's got the capabilities again. Breaking the slipstream, breaking the slipstream yeah. and then he'll get on the brakes perfectly for the apex, and then just slow on the he's apex on the exit. Going on the outside again. Oh, there Darwin Dalma will be able to get the power nice on and early here. Even. Oh, here oh, we go. Wow. It's complete opposite here. Storm was. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. A little bit of a squeeze there yeah. by was Storm. Was that enough room? I. No, that's, we'll leave the <laughs> stewards to that, I think. We'll let the stewards deal with that. Yeah. But yeah, Storm. I, I don't know. They were, they were side by side. I think, I think Storm could have pulled in a little bit more there. Yeah. I think money was in his eyes at that point. But, you know, again, we'll let the admins deal with that. But right now, Magic Michael, we're going to now start seeing lap times here from Magic Michael, I believe, because now he knows they're going to be tied on points. And actually, it might, it might go down to the gap between the two drivers over the course of the two races here. So Magic Michael now may have shot himself in the foot with the slowing down tactics. I am just, I don't know what's going on. And also, because of the harsh braking he's been doing on the Apex, has his tyres gone? Is Magic Michael in trouble here? Are we going to potentially see Storm go out and take the win and take any doubt out of this prize? Well, if his tyres were, were knackered from, uh, from the first couple of laps, he was slowing down in these laps, so he didn't have to push as hard as he normally would um, because he was, was slowing down. So maybe we still have some good tires there and the storm actually had to defend and attack uh, all, the, all this time so probably his tires will be will be way way worse than than um, uh, magic michael but he's only got three minutes that is the big factor here probably gonna be enough for three more like well two and a half more laps here uh storm has got to put the hammer down here is eight tenths of a second now looks like magic michael's now found his uh his yeah. mojo back again so oh, it's definitely it on is. purpose so yeah of course storm now in second position He's a 129.4 in that previous lap, so he was quicker than Magic Michael, but Magic Michael's found that extra level again. That little switch that he seems to have is done. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It, it, it's just beautiful. It's, it's what you would expect from, from uh, top-of-the-line racers, but if you actually see it being deployed, someone slowing someone else down to, to actually get the race, get the race win, that's, that's just brilliant. Can we have a quick, uh, quick little mention of the Battle of the Isaacs? <laughs> Here is Isaac from Team VP that leaves, and he's in fourth position. So the real Isaac right now is VP Isaac. So yeah. we've got that out of the way, but we're going to go back with the front two here and back to cockpit cam. We want to check out the Storm versus Magic Michael. And uh, is it a Storm in a teacup right now, or is he going to really unleash it uh, on upon Mr. Magic Michael? Magic Michael, again, he may have that nice little comfortable eight-tenths of a second gap, but one mistake, and it is all over. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Actually, I saw Storm do it again now. That, that he hit the curb, and then he ran a little bit wider than you than I would expect you to to be able to. But he ha doesn't have a penalty. So he knows I, every he, single limit. And I think he knows it better than Magic Michael. Yeah, potentially here, potentially. But ultimately, Magic Michael's winning this race, so you know you can't really argue against him. 
And he's tried some tactics here today. He's really tried some... Uh, uh, some people will frown upon it. But in a championship, you've got to do everything possible to win. Of course. And it wasn't dirty. Right. It's not like he's crashing to anybody. No, I, I don't think there was even contact on that incident there. Um, I think even if you would look at the replay, you would find that Storm did leave enough room. And they were both just uh, oversteering too much there in that corner. And maybe he thought there wasn't enough room, uh, but there was. Um, yeah, but that's something you would have to see in a replay. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but right now... It's looking very, very likely. We've got one lap remaining here at the Red Bull GP circuit. And it's looking like Magic Mike is going to pick up the win here. But Storm is going to finish in second, which is exactly the reverse of the first race, which means they will be both tied on 23 points. Imagine if there are fastest laps. Oh, the same. The same. <laughs> we'll have another race. I'm all for it. As long as you throw Darwin Dalmer in it as well, I am all for that race. Uh, it looks like Magic uh, Michael yeah. for race number two here of the A1 Esports Season 2 Finale. Comes across the line, picks up that 12 points, and he will be super, super happy with that. Then in second spot is TX3 Storm. Uh, then in third position is... Uh, Isaac with the penalties of Dornidon, of course, finishing down in fourth position. Then we have got G2 Isaac in fifth spot, uh, then in sixth position. Well, I'm sure we'll get that up now. There we go. Boxer forever for Team VP. VP Darwin down were very unfortunate there. And again, I'm sure that will be looked at by the admins. And then Nan Gator finishing out the top eight there, all, all eight in eighth position. So, wow, what a couple of races we've just had there, especially the second one. Like, you could tell my voice is absolutely shot to pieces. I have never heard this. I, I, I watch basically all of your streams, uh, but I've never heard your voice being this shattered. It's, it's amazing. We, we got what we asked for. We, we have Magic Michael struggling for first place, and we actually have to oh, be he, looking at times now to see who won this championship. Give him the respect he deserves in, in the oh, fact yeah. that he qualified fifth position in the field of the quality we have here to go from fifth to manage to win this race. And it was do or die. If he didn't win this race and Storm went and won it, that was game over for the championship. You know, this is his big opportunity to finally get that Project Cars notch on his belt. And uh, he went out there, duly delivered, and you know, we're still waiting for the final results to come through here. So I think we're gonna go and have a message from our sponsors here uh, at the A1 Esports season number two. So yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because it is going to be an epic, epic ceremony here and give that big trophy away. Well, I'm back here at the A1 Esports final on Project Cars 2, but he's so excited he's, he's had, to, had to go. He's just so excited after that last race he's had to go. But with the nature of esports when it comes to online racing, it's like the only esport you can have a direct effect on each other's performance. So there is a protest going through right now. So we will have a 10-minute break, and then we'll go straight to the stage for the big ceremony and give that trophy to the winner. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes. See you then. Look at that trophy. Welcome back then, ladies and gentlemen. As you can tell, I'm a little bit hoarse because that was an exceptional final from the drivers. But they have been after this trophy. Here you go. You can see him in the flesh now. It's Bubble yeah. Bart. Hello. Yeah, it's on. That's, that's me. Yeah, I was in there in the fish tank. <laughs> what a f final race that was. Obviously, they were tied on points uh, going into the fight. Well, going into the results. We didn't even know who won. And we're not going to uh, disclose that information. But I want to welcome up every single driver who made it to today's final. Uh, the Austrian qualifiers, all of the European qualifiers, all 16. If you can come up on stage then, guys, so you can receive your round of applause. Uh, they're a little bit shy. If you want to come yeah, up, guys, all of the Austrian and European qualifiers for the A1 Esports give League Season applause. 2. Come on. Let's give them a round of applause. What a final product they put on for you guys today. Here they come. So there you have it. There are your finalists. So I'm going to call third, second, and then our eventual winner up to talk to me. So third, Isaac, come have a little chat with me. Congratulations on coming third here in season number two of the A1 Esports. Again, a round of applause, guys. Come on.
So obviously you took the hard route here. You didn't do qualifier number one. Uh, if people who are not aware, there was 36 points up for grabs in every qualification and every qualification counted. So there was five weeks of events. This man here missed the first one and still managed to get into the top six on PC to make today's event. I had you down to win it. I really did. You come in the top three, which is a massive, massive achievement. But how do you feel about your performance today? I was massively intense. I didn't get the time to practice this week, but so I didn't expect a lot from myself. But still coming third, such a great venue, great competitors. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, you've got a lot of takeaway from you know, this event, especially. Like, it's been fantastic. Um, I'm now going to move on to second place, but well done to Isaac on his third position. Second spot then. The man from the Czech Republic, is he here? Where is he? Is he got the train? He's had to go. He's oh, that no. fast. Wow. He's actually had to go. But we are now going to go to our winner then. I think we're just going to hand a trophy over, aren't we? Our it winner won't. then is TX3 Storm. Come on. There we go. Congratulations, buddy. So that's a that's a pretty good uh, pretty good performance there. Uh, I would like to invite on stage Marco Nurina from A1 with the thing that matters, I guess. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? Do you know how much it is? There you go. Once again, guys, our winner, TX3 Storm! Okay then, let's have a little word with our winner. Obviously, I feel like I've watched you from the very beginning of your sim racing journey. And uh, I did have a few comments during the stream about when you were a little bit younger, you may have come across a lot, a, a little bit arrogant maybe at times, but I've seen you grow into you know, the human you are now, and now all of a sudden you've picked up a major award on Project Cars 2. How does it feel to be the A1 Esports League Season 2 winner? Absolutely speechless. Like, it's my first ever offline event win. And I'm just so grateful for the whole team supporting me. It's just so important to have a team around you, able to push you sometimes, and to motivate you. And I really want to thank everybody in Tech 3 And uh, yeah, that's the result of a very, very, very uh, hard work. And uh, it was insane. You can tell you're filled with emotion right now. Obviously, it's been a pleasure for me and Bart to cast. What, have you any oh, final yeah. words on this man? Uh, I, I just loved it. I, I have to. I have uh, one more question. Were you actually screaming in your chair when you being backed into uh, Darwin? I was. <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. Thank you for uh, some amazing content here. Uh, I think everyone here enjoyed it. I know we we did. I've got no voice left. It's, uh, yeah. it, I'll shout out one more time. The winner of the A1 League Esports Season 2 on Project Cars 2 is TX3 Storm. Well done, mate. Wherever he wants to go. <laughs>